happy Saturday, everybody. I know you guys have been waiting on this all day because I've been waiting on it too. But we've been so busy working today. Um, we've been getting new things in our store. So make sure you go to www.breeztees.com. We have the Rip City hoodies, uh, t shirts, long sleeves. Get that today. And we even have the. Um, Tell them about the bag. The, oh, Tell yes. them about the bag. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you know Christmas time is coming around. If that is your thing, we have these personalized Christmas Santa sacks where you can either get your child name, customize on it, your name, or uh, a friend name. So, perfect if you suck at wrapping gifts like Jay, or you just, you know, just want to just substitute something different, do something different outside to use a stocking stuffer. These are the Santa sacks that you can get personalized today. 27 inches tall, 19 inches wide, as you can see, right here on the site that's a and measurement you, and also you can also go in there and put in your child's name and you can change and pick whatever color you want it to be so make sure y'all go to that today and still use this code so you can save on it so the code is right up there on the main screen it says cyber type that in you'll save on it at the checkout all right now let's get to some news but first before we get to the news i have to ask Where's all of my gym stars? What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Bree Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Slime, BKA, the People's Champion. And today, we are bringing, like, some interesting news topics today. So, first on the news is um, Ennis Cantor. So, as you know, Ennis Cantor plays for the Boston Celtics. But he says he's thinking about going to, you know, the WWE Afterwards, and he's already been talking about Triple H about that. So, uh, what do you think? You know, you think he'll do all right in WWE or not? I mean, he might do all right. He probably just trying to keep him just stay over here as long as he can after he get through. In case he's not married, because as long as you're working, you can stay. And we all know about the issues that Ennis Kansas having right now. He ain't trying to go. Back I don't home. know what issues he's having. Oh, you know he he he's uh, he's like from I don't know exactly what the, the country he's from, but uh -huh. it's something like Turkey or whatever. And he speaks out about he speaks out against the government oh. religiously, and his family's still over there, so he ain't trying to go back. Oh, you may want to get to the practicing on the SmackDown there. So <laughs> <laughs> okay. It ain't funny, but it's funny. Okay, so next thing. Doug Flutie said that if he was playing in the NFL 2019, that he would make it. He he said Lamar Jackson is proof. Do you guys think that if Doug Flutie, you know he had those Flutie flakes. You guys tried the Flutie flakes? But if Doug Flutie was playing in the NFL today, would he be on the same level that Lamar Jackson is? He wouldn't be on the same level as Lamar Jackson, but the fact that Doug Flutie had a lot of success when he was in the league, he was just, you know, when he was just playing, he had a lot of success in Buffalo. I think you, I think if you design a an offense like they designed it for Lamar Jackson, mm -hmm. I think he, I think he'd do pretty well. And anybody that's got a gun like this right here, Flutie drops back. He's under pursuit. He goes. He heaves it toward the end zone. Touchdown, Boston College! How Boston College go? The Eagles win the game. Doug Flutie is the MVP and wins the Heisman. Yes. So maybe he would have killed in 2019. Maybe so. So next topic, my man, Metal World Peace. Mm. What did Metal World Peace say, Jay? Metal World Peace said. He said he want that coaching job. He up for it. Uh, was it for the Knicks? Yeah, for the Knicks. Yeah. Yeah, for the Knicks. He like, <laughs> let's get it popping, bro, bro. <laughs> I'm the man. I bring the Metal World Peace. I need that coaching job. Can y'all see Metal World Peace, you know, being a coach? He probably fights so said, they don't do what he Look, he said, let's get a popping. That you already know. He ain't oh. coming to play no games I but the NBA. get to play it. no game, yeah. You already know my name, yeah. Freaky diggy, because it ain't no thing, yeah. Da -da, da -da. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last thing on the list that I have for you guys today is A.B. Antonio Brown. He He's begging for a second chance. Well, not even a second chance, another chance because he has multiple chances already. But he's saying, you know, he had not apologize for his inexcusable behavior, which has been like totally off the chain lately. Do you think A.B. deserves another chance? That's what we want to know down in the comments. Answer those questions. Yeah, so oh, many oh. questions. But, you know, drop everything down in the comment. And don't forget to hit that like button. Go to the store and use the code. 
Cyber to say on everything. All right, all right, all right, that's enough. That's enough. It was that's like 12 enough. minutes. Yeah, it's going to be 12 minutes, man. Chat, what's happening to y'all? Yes, sir. <laughs> what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video. Check it out. Hey, this is one of the newest shirts in the shop, man. Like I said, we got stuff. When we when we say we got it up there, we got it up there, man. We got the This Is The Way, the, the Mandalorian shirts, man. Check it out, man. Hey, we got them in all, got them in all colors, man. I'm talking about shouting. We got them in all colors. They're unisex. Everything. Y'all go check those out. We got the hoodies. And we also have the regular t-shirts and the workout tees, man. Go by the shop. Check all that out. But anyway, we got a quick video, man. A lot to get into. A little bit, a little bit of time to get into it. Let, answer all those questions down in the comments. Um, you know, just to keep the engagement up. And let's just get right into it, man. Not a whole lot of 2K news today. Uh, we have a lot, and I mean a lot, of updates. And they said LeBron is still the number one top rated player in the game. And uh, this is where we at. We got LeBron is still 97 overall, but you know, but he watched, right? But he watched, but he just keep on winning. He's just the best player in the league still, damn it. But hey, he watched. Yeah, I know I still rock with my boy Melo. But we got some, uh, you know, we also got some um, some other people that made it to 97. Giannis Antetokounmpo, uh, Mr. I Just Get Buckets, he's there. Hey, check it out. My guy, H-Town, um... James Harden, he's there, and Kawhi Leonard loses a point. Uh, we also have some other joints, man. Luka Donitz drops another three, a 96 overall. Ooh, Luka with another three-point bump. His rise towards top marks are, are, are one of the biggest ever. And uh, he started at 87 this year, and now he's a, nine, uh, a, a 96, damn near 10 points. And uh, we also, like I said, we got Giannis Antetokounmpo. We don't know what his ceiling is. If he can start shooting threes and hitting those consistently, uh, it, it's going to be tough. And also, like I said, we got a whole bunch of other stuff, man. Uh, the notables, like I said, James Harden got one. Luka got three. Anthony Davis got one, but he's a 95. Paul George lost a point. Uh, all of it's right here, man. You know, we're going to leave the link down in the description. Y'all check that out. Uh, let's see Let's see if Ben Simmons... Uh, do, do we, nope, nope. Nothing for, nothing, nothing for Ben Simmons. I thought they added another point to his three bringing it up to 39 but anyway uh up next we got uh the game and f-a-b-o-l-o-u-s hey fabulous been my dog since the beginning man but look the game the game who's bumping these new albums shout out to our guys for bringing the fire look man they got tracks on the joints uh 2k i've always i'm not gonna lie this is one thing that 2k gets right 2K and their music, they get it right. Even though I turn it off because it's annoying as hell and I'll actually be streaming sometimes, which I will be streaming on Twitch right after this video. Come over to Twitch, check it out. Uh, we got another video coming up tonight too because I got to get two videos out today. That's just going to be the bill video, but you know how that goes. Anyway, uh, you know, you bump the music, man, but it just gets to the point where you're like, bro, I can't be doing this, man, because I'm trying to concentrate and they want me vibing. I ain't trying to be vibing. I'm trying to be playing. But anyway, uh, you know, they got the tracks, <laughs> tracks in there as usual. Uh, who are you bumping? Which of these dudes' album are you bumping? I ain't bumping none of that right now just because of the fact that I ain't listening to no music. Uh, you know, only thing I've been on is Lido and Don Tripp uh, lately. Y'all already know that. And uh, y'all know this where, I, this, this where I'm at. This where I'm rocking. This where I'm at. This where I'm going to stay. And uh, last but not least, man, check it out. I don't even want to look at the caption, man. Just, just stop. Is the caption here? Let's see. The caption said, I went to NBA. Can, can we go to the actual tweet, please? View the tweet. Hopped on NBA 2K19, and this is the first thing I saw. Hashtag NBA 2K20. So this is one of the advertisements that has been patched in. They're telling you, if you buy NBA 2K20, uh, you know, are you next? You can redeem it now. Obviously, you know, they're going to give you 35,000 VC was probably going to be 100,000 because, you know, like the chalk pack. <laughs> Six skill boosts, uh, you know, two prime time, I mean, uh, 20,000 MT. Uh, we don't care about that. Uh, two two prime MT packs, two spotlight packs, and two free agent cards. This is a big assumption right here. Thinking, and then, you know, for your my player, you got some gear 
and all of that good stuff. This is a big assumption that everybody, this just shows you what they're doing. Instead of giving you some money off on the actual game, which the game is there, they're giving you just enough money to get engulfed in these modes and to realize that they haven't given you anything. Because if you get stuck, 20,000 MT, um, MT points ain't nothing. What can you get with 20,000 MT points if you play uh, if you play my team? I don't think you can really get anything. You should take like 200,000, you have to go to gold or somebody like that and buy 200,000 worth and, uh, or whatever, but it was it was just crazy. The spotlight packs, I mean, they gonna give you two packs. You might get a good pull out of that. I don't think you're gonna really get anything. I mean, this is just one of those things where it's just blatant. There were 2K is like, bro, we need people, we need y'all to get the hell off of this game, this 2K19, and get on 2K20 where we can monetize y'all. Or we're going to start monetizing y'all again on 2K19. It is what it is. A lot of people said that they got rid of the, uh, that they got rid of the, uh, of the, um, I was, I was going to say the infinity glitch. A lot of people said that they got rid of the, uh, the, the VC glitch and they got rid of the demigod glitch. But it's still there, according to my sources in down in the comments. They say the VC glitch is gone, I believe, but the demigod glitch is still there. Bro, this, I have spoken. This is the way. This shirt is tough. Go to the shop and cop that right now. I'm going to give you five seconds or just leave a like on the video. No, hold up, hold up. One. Yeah. All right, appreciate that. Anyway. I was thinking about that Jay-Z when he was like five, four, three, two, one. Anyway, check it out. It's just it's just sad that instead of fixing the game that we currently have, the only thing they're interested in is the continued monetization of the game that we currently have. Now, I'm not going to tell you a lie. I'm having loads of fun with NBA 2K20. I love the game. I love the position that I have. I love the way that I'm able to play the game. I like the fact that I'm able to do the things that I need to do. But, bro... Have y'all noticed that if you play, if you got a guy and he's like a, a set, so so if they if they want to push people to 2K20, I don't care. I need more scrubs to beat up on. But you shouldn't be trying to just antagonize people into getting a new game. I know that's what you got to do, and that's what the people are saying. But, I mean, come on, man. You made a billion dollars off the game already and all that. But this is the last thing I wanted to talk to y'all about. If you have a guy and you've reached 99.9, Bro, have you realized that your guy plays completely different from 97 to a 99? My dude, when he's a 97, I played last night. I was playing with T. Mizzle there. My dude, I, and, and I had lost my boost too. So, like, uh, my boost had ran out. So, I lost four points on my speed. And then I lost uh, three points. What, like, four? Uh, like, I, I lost a total of eight points because I was 99.9. .9, so, you lose the 99.9, .9, 99. The 98, and then you down to 97. So I'm down to around like 96 or whatever. I felt like I couldn't move. My speed was like 86. It's normally like 94, I believe it is, something like that. At least 93. I could not move. The threshold between 86 and 90 is like night and day. It's like you stuck in cement. If you lose your little your your plus fours. And you losing points on your 99.9 .9, is crazy. But I need somebody to confirm this for me. Because we played somebody the other night and we beat the dude like 30 times in a row. 45 times straight. He just kept playing us. And dude was a 99 every time he stepped on the court. And I didn't understand it. Meanwhile, I'm winning all these games and I'm losing points. And he's losing games and he's still a 99. Is it some type of 99 glitch or something out there? Or, or is it... Like, once you get to 99.9, .9, if you keep playing my career, you build up 99.9. .9, you build up points. Like, so theoretically, behind the scenes, like, you don't get any more points, but you could be, like, 115, you know, ranked behind the scenes. And then every time you lose, it's just taking, like, point two, and, like, it never really gets down there. Do y'all know if you can go over there and it's, like, a secret... A secret joint. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? So when you, when you get to 99.9, .9, if you keep playing games in my career and you keep going up and keep getting to 99.9, .9, does it go above that? Does it keep adding to it and you get a little buffer zone where you can lose a few games before it goes down? Or is it the first game you lose, it goes down? I don't know. I'm going to test it out and get back to y'all. But if anybody knows that for sure, let me know down in the comments. Because, dude, I swear, bro, on Moses, he lost 45 straight games to us and was still a 99. And I'm like, bro, how am I down to a 97 from a 99? And my dude is playing like trash. And we're winning. Meanwhile, he has not won a single game. And he's still a 99. 
Shout out to my dog, man. He know who he is. Baytown, shout out to you, dog. You know who you is, bro. Hey, I appreciate you coming out there and running against us and stuff. Hey, he got heart, man. He just wanted to play. He said, I just want to play against him play, and play the game and see what's up. Hey, he ran, but I, I don't know. Baytown, let me know what's going on, man, with that. Anyway, I got to get up out of here, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know. Boy, this charcoal dry fit is the dopest. Woo, this thing lit. Um, Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Make sure you slide by the shop and uh, let me know. Uh, you know, if y'all like any of this stuff right here, man, this is the way, this is this, this, this the Mandalorian. And, uh, if you got kids or whatever, man, and you, and you do celebrate the holidays and stuff, uh, regardless of what you celebrate, you know what I'm talking about? Um, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know I'm saying, hey, put their name on the bag, secure the bag for yourself. And I'm gonna y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. God speak, and I'm out. Peace. Go Bulldogs. We getting trounced thoroughly right now. Here's what it is.